18 teams from universities around the nation arrived in Bozeman Friday for the Human Powered Vehicle Challenge. Uh, it's about bringing schools from all over the U.S. and um, seeing what other schools have to offer for the human powered vehicle. It's a lot of different great ideas. It's using human power to drive a vehicle, anything non-motorized, you know, it could have been a scooter, bicycles, tricycles. You know, it really is a chance to, to use what we're learning in school, get some hands-on experience and show, you know, not only other students, but also future potential players when they look at our work, what we've been, what we've been doing, we actually have real world experience. And it's also really great to interact with the other teams, you know, swap ideas, make friendships, and it's just a really great experience. The name of the bike is called the Centipede, and then that, that just has to deal with all the different bike frames that we use to, to put this thing together into one bicycle. One of the goals with uh, this project is, is sustainable transportation, and our bicycle was built completely out of recycled parts out of a company in Missoula, a nonprofit organization called Missoula Free Cycles, and these folks let us go through their boneyard and pick these bicycles out and put them together. The three-day event features various bicycles and tricycles that will test design and driver skill on a course around Montana State University's Bozeman campus. This competition for me is all about is making a vehicle that can go fast, can be practical. Every school is going to approach the same problem in a different way. And it's really cool to just like go around and say, oh, that's a, that's a cool thing. How would you compare this race to NASCAR? Uh, we like to go fast. And we'd like to turn left. It's not. Well, this race has bumps in it, and, and that's one thing I've always complained about NASCAR. If they had jumps on the track, I might watch it. Make sure you're in there, yeah.